Hey guys, this is Pat from the Erie Better Beer Bureau, back at you with another blind beer review. Today we have one from the brewery in California. We have So Happens It's Tuesday, which is their Black Tuesday aged in bourbon barrels. I'm going to bring Dave, Jay, and Mark in here to see what they think about it without knowing what the beer is. Ooh, wow. That smells like aged, like, bourbon barrels. It's a little bit... Mossy, if you will. Mossy and musty. <laughs> I was thinking, like, a, I get, like, a lot of, like, old wood bourbon. Yeah. And, like, a tiny bit of oxidation, but not where it's off-putting. It it's just tastes old. It just smells old. Almost like English I'm style. I'm getting a lot of dark, way. dark, dark fruits and roast. Yeah. It's a heavy roast. Yep. I would not be surprised if this Ooh. is from Firestone Walker. Like, it has that, like, kind that of, would like... Be that aroma kind of blend too. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it has like that boozy, like light character. Yeah. Like it body, doesn't look. Money. It doesn't look super dark, like it, in Imperial Stout. Like about. it has a little lightness to yeah. it. Yeah, you can see through it. Just a touch of brown. Like it little, almost does have the aroma. It has of like a Firestone Walker, Walker like, like a blended. Program. Like there's more than one thing going on. And like on. heavy barrel notes. Like there's just yeah. like tons of like tons barrel. Of I'm not getting much alcohol. I mean, killer I'm aroma. A lot of, I'm getting a I'm getting lot of like, spirits. Like, spirits. Yeah, like, yeah, I agree with that. Anyway, cola, bourbon, yada yada yada. We're gonna <laughs> cheers. 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 Hmm. It's not what I expected. It's it definitely like. barrel aged. There's oh, no yeah. question. I mean. It's. I don't think it's an imperial stout. No, it, no. E, there might be stout. I feel like it's a blended beer. I really yeah. do. I mean, you know, you said Firestone Walker. It might not be, but it's along those lines. On the aroma, the, fla like the flavor water. finish is almost clean. It's like it's a, it's a lighter finish, but it's it's heavy on the front end. Yeah, I think the flavors are good. Though. I think the yeah, they're really good. good. Yeah. yeah, I didn't say they weren't, but they just no, they finish <clears throat> kind of lighter, you know. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to say some sort of blend, but I am getting a little bit of like a, a porter quality. Yeah, and yeah pour and it might be a porter. And kind of like an old ale quality mm -hmm. like out of it. Yeah. Definitely tastes like an aged beer. Yeah. And I get a lot of spirit. I, I don't know, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe bourbon, but it, I definitely get some sort of spirit barrel. It, it's, to me, mouthfeel of a porter, absolutely. No way mm -hmm. it has the mouthfeel of a stout. But to me, I'm getting other flavors in there that almost makes me think that it, there's other styles blended into mm -hmm. it. it. It has that feel to it to me. It's almost a dark, a darker, a darker you get fruit. A sweetness, yeah. Uh, not not a dark fruit like raisin or plums, but like a like a mm -hmm. like a dark cherry, that something like that. Cherry. I get yeah. like a cola out of it, which is what's making me think porter. And I get a lot of spirit barrel. Is what I'm. It's what's throwing me off. Like I. I get like almost like some sort of a, a bourbon or even a brandy. Yeah, I mean it's it's warming. Like I, I can't tell really if the warming. sweetness is from a barrel or if it's from like the base beer. Yeah. I still feel like it has a little bit of an old world feel to yeah. it. I'm mm -hmm. gonna say that it might not be brewed on American soil. That's my personal opinion. Hmm. This is a pretty big beer. Uh, Lots of different flavors going on in this. Um, we're, I mean, it could be old ale. I, Maury said something about you know maybe a, like a, maybe a pure porter, um, but we were like even compared it to like a blended beer like Firestone Walker. I mean that that's how that's how flavorful this beer is. Um, bunch of different types of fruits. I mean I'm, I you were saying cola. I was thinking cherry cola. <laughs> that's how they got a little bit of cherry, some dark fruits. A little bit of stickiness started coming through in the back end, you know, would make me think it was barley wine-ish or something. Uh, boy, a score. I'm going to give it a solid 4.25. This is a really nice drinking beer. Uh, high ABV, I believe, too. So uh, I'm going to give it a solid 4.25. Yeah, I agree with Mark's score. I'm going to give it a 4.25, too. You know, on the aroma, like Dave mentioned, it does have that Firestone Walker thing going on. On the taste, 
it does taste blended to me. Yeah. I can't really nail down a style. It has kind of the mouthfeel of a porter, but it almost does have some notes of like a quad or a barley wine blended in there a little bit. Uh, I still get a little bit of an old world kind of, you know, mineral taste to it. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm going to give it a 425 as well. Yeah, I like it. I'm at a 425 as well. That's kind of what I was thinking. You know, I'm leaning more towards like old ale. I know it's kind of like a generic strong ale. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to score it as such. So I'm going to go 4.25 on the aroma is fantastic. The mm -hmm. aroma, I'm like at a four and a half, yeah. if yeah. not more. <laughs> that is, it's really good. Yeah. Um, but it's got some nice like sticky qualities. I mean, they're still like alcohol legs running oh, out of yeah. glass, so it's got to be double digits. Yeah. It's got a decent uh, carbonation. Mm-hmm. It might not be the best quality of it, but I'm loving it overall. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 tasting. I'm going four and a quarter, man. Huh? All right. Well, it might surprise you, but this beer is actually... So happens it's Tuesday from the brewery. It's oh, Black wow. Tuesday aged gotcha. bourbon barrels. Wow, man. Gotcha. Wow. Well, I mean, it makes well, sense. So it's now 14, yeah, 14.4%. Yeah, it's up there. A stout, huh? 14.7, yeah. So this is like mini Black Tuesday. They dial back right. like 5%. We right. weekend is 14.4. <laughs> but it is pretty thin as far as stouts go. I get yeah. more right, of but, an old ale. But even it. Black Tuesday is pretty is a little thin. thin and yeah. sticky. And this is weak. dialed down 5%. But it's a big so. beer. Yeah, no. I'm, woo. It's tasty. Wow. The funny thing is, is I tasty. almost brought this bottle over tonight for us to drink. <laughs> yeah. Glad you didn't, because yeah. shoo. Because now this was a this was a cool blind. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. definitely a good blind. All right, guys. Till next time. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.